How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today I am in my garage and I'm going to be working on the TC. I know it's been a minute since I've touched the car, minus moving it while I was reorganizing the garage. And I promise you some content of me getting this car done. Now that the car's in a space where I can work on it, I'm actually going to start fit finishing up this car and showing you the process of doing that. But before I get to that, if you give me a huge favor, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. We are still doing the 1,000 subscriber merch giveaway. All you gotta do is subscribe to this channel and follow our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Links are in the description below. And once we hit 1,000 sub subscribers here, which we're at over 900, so thank you very much to everybody. We're gonna give away some merch. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. If you're new to the channel, just give you a quick rundown. This car I got on a trade with my friend Bob. He owns my Scion XD that has a 3SGT engine swap and it's all caged. Uh, traded cars with him. He always liked that car and he, and this car was kind of cool at the time. So we, we just did a straight trade. Um, I went through, polished the car. It's dusty now, but I went through and undid a lot of years of abuse. And I'll go over everything that we've done so far. So originally when I got the car, the roof, uh wasn't damaged but it did have the giant scion racing uh vinyl sticker on top and i tried taking it off slowly using a lot of heat and the paint did peel so my friend ruben did respray this the hood and the rear spoiler for me the hood um doesn't have a internal skeleton so it's like you know race car stuff where it's, it holds its shape, but the issue is is it's not strong, so you can't put a lot of weight on top of it. And during the storage process, I don't know what happened. Uh, when Bob owned it, I'm not blaming him. Uh, there were things put on top of the hood by somebody else, not Bob. And there were cracks everywhere. So Ruben went through and did the best he could to refinish and fix everything, which was pretty awesome. So I still wanted it the factory red. And yeah, so that was done. The roof was resprayed. And the wing, uh, the gel coat on the carbon was all peeling, so now it is painted a gloss black. It took a little while to get it done, but I understood uh, what was going on in his life, so it's all good. Um, got married, you know, all this, you know, grown up stuff, so he had to put this project on the side, which I'm totally okay with. I told him to take his time. But in the process of the restoration, I've been slowly restoring the car bit by bit. The wheels have been repowder coated and have brand new tires. When I originally got the car, the tires had a DOT dating of 2007. So way past expiration. Uh, they were only good as rollers and that's pretty much it. Can't drive, I wouldn't drive on them or anything. And the wheels were really faded and some of them had curved rash. So I took the liberty of repowder coating it a gunmetal, which I feel works better with the car. Um, the bright neon color isn't bad, but it was all fading. So it was like half white, half neon yellow or green. So it looked really weird, looked really bad. So we did that. I refinished some of the stuff on the car, uh, repainted these pieces right here and also the mirrors. So everything looks more refinished. But in the process of installing this, I think I put the, uh, stands backwards. So I'm gonna reverse that today and also bolt down the roof and see what else I can do in the short amount of time that I have. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on switch, switching out the uh, stands left to right, just reorient them and then see how the wing uh, mounts up and kind of go from there and then start working on the roof after that. Apologize for all the background noise. The gardeners are running their leaf blowers and lawnmowers on my neighbor's house. So 
what I, what you saw me doing was I actually have to chase the holes down with these bolts. Um, because Ruben painted this entire thing, the pit, there's paint buildup in each hole. So I have to chase it out because of the hardware fits perfectly through it. So it's, you know, you just have to kind of just walk the bolt through and then back it out. That way you can bolt everything together. But I was right, I had the stance backwards. That was my own fault. So once I get done with uh, chasing the holes for this, then I will go ahead and assemble the wing and bolt everything down. Apologize for all the noise in the background. If you hear leaf blowers and lawnmowers, my the gardeners are still at it. So I need to get longer hardware bolts for this. Not too much longer. I mean, it's enough to hold it, but it's not, you know, locking in. So uh, I need to get four of those because I don't know where everything went. It's been a long time. And then I'll show you underneath how everything looks. So when they originally did the trunk mounted wing, they actually did it the right way where they made a full brace support system. I know on some cars when you put the wing you see ripples in the trunk and you see a lot of flexing in the trunk. This is for, to prevent that. The only thing that I don't agree with is the choice of hardware they used. I felt like they used a just random set of miscellaneous nuts and bolts to make this work. None of the hardware matches and one of the hardware pieces that I had was stripped so I had to find another one as a substitute so there it is. But everything's bolted down. The only thing I need next is to finish the rear spoiler, whoops, is the, is bolts that'll fit for the end plates. I gotta dig those out and find those. Uh, probably not for this episode, but it'll be on, hopefully by the next time you see the next video for this. Uh, next, I'm gonna be working on the roof. So I do have hardware for that. Get over here. Here's all the hardware that I have for it. So it has washers and bolts and it just screws in. So I just gotta carefully line everything up and get it to where it's supposed to be. And hopefully the bolts go through the holes and everything works just fine. The roof is 80% eh, done. <laughs> so the bolts are in, all they're, they're all in there holding everything down correctly except for one, that back corner. For some reason, it didn't want to thread correctly. So I do have to take all this apart later to see what's going on inside that hole. It threads in and then it kind of stops. So I kind of figure that out. Um, when I originally got the car, there were more bolts in here, but how do I put this? It didn't mount to anything. The bolts were just kind of just sitting on the roof. So uh, these are the holes that are actually functional. The rest of them, there's a couple spots where there's no, the bolt doesn't go anywhere. It just was literally just screwed into the fiberglass and just sitting on it. Uh, I Again, I didn't build this car originally, so don't kill me for that. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, where we're at. I got to finish that later, but I'm out of time today. So yeah, got to get the hardware for the end place for the wing and then fix that and that's pretty much it for uh the roof again a couple of these spots they were just i guess fake bolts or whatever i don't know exactly what was going on there 
but it is what it is. But that pretty much is uh, what we're working on for today. Quick video, uh, there's more to come. I still have to install the steering wheel, figure out what's going on with the electronics on this car. Again, if you've been watching the video series, the center console does not work at all. For some reason, the stereo doesn't turn on. Um, so I gotta see what's going on with that. And yeah, get the steering wheel on, uh, have the uh, latches for the hood to, to, to screw back in and install and a couple other small things. And yeah, that'll be coming real soon. But thanks again for tuning in. Definitely do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already hit the like button and uh, thanks a lot for every, for watching the video. Till next time you guys take care.